Hi everyone, how are you? And we are back on the channel, and today we're gonna to talk about rackets. So if you don't know much about rackets, then you can actually learn something today. And I feel like we have to actually extend this conversation with Rick because he knows a lot more about rackets than I do. But in particular, I'm gonna answer a lot of your questions because you guys have asked me a lot about my racket and why I changed it and what's up with that. So let's first talk about rackets, okay, and what rackets mean. So I see a lot of people and they'll be like, I wanna use that racket because XYZ player that they love uses that racket or my friend uses that racket. But you actually have to choose a racket that works for your game and not that works for someone else's game. So for example, I'm a power player. I like to use a lot of power and that's my style. So I need a racket that suits that. So still gives me enough power, but gives me enough control because I physically am very strong. So I also need kind of to pull in the rain. So if a racket that's too powerful, I'm not gonna be able to control it because I have my own power, but a racket that's not powerful enough is not gonna allow me to play the game that I need to play. It's actually gonna you know, kind of sedate my game. So finding that balance between power and then uh, not too much power and then something that's gonna give me some control. Now someone else who's more about placement and precision or a counter puncher is probably not gonna want a racket with too much power, but they're gonna want a racket that helps them to put things exactly in the spot that they want. So a little bit smaller head size, maybe a little bit more feel and a lot of control. I'm gonna use a little bit larger head size, maybe a little bit larger frame. And then with Rick, the expert in part do, we're gonna talk about, actually the last video I was acting up, it was numero dos. <laughs> We should keep doing that. In, in part dos, we're gonna talk about string pattern, grip size, et cetera, et cetera. So we can really dive into this. But in particular, my racket, I ended up changing my rackets actually twice this summer, if you can imagine. So I went from a Blade 104 to trying a Pro Staff, and that head size was about a 98. It was a huge change for me. I've always played with a really large head size, either bigger or bigger or biggest, and so going to 98 was, a, was very different, but it actually felt really good in the beginning. It felt like I had a lot more control and that my balls weren't flying, but as I entered competition, I kind of realized that it really took me too much out of my game and that when I was really ready to go for my shots, the ball wasn't going enough, and um, I really didn't have the experience or the skill to really figure out how to play with that racket, maybe given some time. but. Time is a commodity, we want to use it the best that we can, and I didn't have the time to learn how to use that racket. So I actually ended up switching back to the Blade 104 and switching to Serena's rackets and to her specs because our rackets start to be customized to exactly what we want and what we need. So we tweak them, add more weight, you know, in the head or in the handle, change the string pattern a little bit, and I ended up really just inheriting her racket, and it's perfect for me. So I pretty much went back to what I was doing <laughs> which is crazy, but with different specs. And those specs make a world of a difference. So in part dos, we're gonna dive into what those specs are, what the difference of those specs will be with my racket, with Serena's racket, and with Pro Staff, and will I compare all three? So that way you guys can kind of understand how to choose a racket. Uh, but for me, more than anything, I was looking to change a few things on my forehand. I wanted to add some more spin, and I wanted to be able to uh, execute more shots, like moving off the court, more spin, more slices, more control of my volleys. In order to do that, I needed to change my racket because my racket, if you, you couldn't really use spin, it's more or less a racket you hit flat with and you, the slice would float a lot, so it's not really a shot that you wanted to rely on and your volleys were less about precision and more about hitting a great approach shot so you could close off the net and not necessarily hitting volleys off of your toes or angling things off or things like that. So this racket has given me a lot more room to add to my game, a lot more control and a lot more opportunity to just be able to go to lots of different things during the point. Go to power, go to touch, go to slice, go to the net, go to spin all these different things that just add more dimension and more excitement. So I always love tennis. I'm always gonna be on the court. I'm always gonna play. And I feel like I found that perfect racket for me. Tell me about your racket so that way 
maybe I can answer some of those questions in like part number three where we talk about your racket and then what kind of game style you have and what would be the best racket to suit you. I'm really like liking all of this and I think we're gonna go down a really big rabbit hole. We're gonna have a lot of parts to this. So I'm looking forward to your comments and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. We'll talk more about racket sports.